First and all new from the ABC 15 investigators, an update on PPP loan fraud. A congressional subcommittee report out today says a Scottsdale based company that processed PPP loan applications failed to screen out applicants with signs of fraud, while the founders and company leadership got rich. The year long investigation could now lead to changes in federal lending programs and possible prosecution. ABC 15 investigator Melissa Blasius was the first local reporter to tell you about the congressional probe into Blue Acorn and the founders, including a former Valley newscaster. During the coronavirus pandemic, Blue Acorn ads were popping up all over social media. The company claimed it was helping gig workers and mom and pops get the federal loans they needed to stay in business. But in the end, they were also facilitating fraud, according to this staff report from the House Select Subcommittee on the Coronavirus Crisis. The committee will come to order. The committee had been investigating the actions of Blue Acorn and five other financial technology companies for more than a year. The committee chairman concluding, on top of the windfall obtained by enabling others to engage in PPP fraud, some of these individuals may have augmented their ill-gotten gains by engaging in PPP fraud themselves. Much of the report focuses on two Blue Acorn founders, Scottsdale entrepreneur Nate Reese, seen in this video obtained by the committee, and his wife, former ABC 15 news anchor Stephanie Hockridge. The committee noting the couple's lavish lifestyle. After Blue Acorn was involved in the disbursement of more PPP funds in 2021 than America's largest banks. According to the report, Blue Acorn transferred nearly $300 million in profits to its owners while only spending less than 1% of the PPP fees on fraud prevention. Blue Acorn loan reviewers reported receiving poor training and being pressured to push through PPP loans, even if the reviewers doubted the authenticity of the loan supporting documents. The congressional investigators say they also obtained Slack messages from Hawkridge instructing a contractor to prioritize large dollar loans, saying closing these monster loans will get everyone paid. And another message where the committee says she's instructing subordinates to deprioritize other loans, saying delete them. Who? expletive cares. The report adding, most troubling, the select subcommittee's investigation found that Blue Acorn's leadership, including those tasked with preventing fraud in the PPP, may have themselves committed PPP fraud, even showing one application where Nate Reese claimed to be an African-American and a veteran, both of which appear to be false according to the report. The ABC 15 investigators reached out to Stephanie Hawker Reese by phone as well as Blue Acorn by email. We did not hear back from either one of them. When we first did this story a year ago, Hawkridge Reese did not want to discuss the company and Blue Acorn told us they intended to fully cooperate with the congressional investigation and neither Hawkridge Reese nor her husband had an active role anymore in the company. I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona. Melissa, thank you. The committee is forwarding its findings to the U.S. Department of Justice for a possible criminal probe and to the Small Business Administration suggesting policy changes and possibly demanding repayment of fees from fraudulent loans.